Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be playing with some new Chanel makeup that I purchased and I hauled uh, in yesterday's video, my haul video. Actually, I don't know which, whatever. I don't know what order I'm gonna be putting these videos up in. Anyway, these are some new Chanel products. So I thought I would uh, try them on with you. Uh, so this is kind of like a first impressions of these things. So let me just show you what it is that I purchased. First, um, on the Chanel site, they were having like a pre-order for some of the Le Beige 2020 collection. And so I pre-ordered the Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid in Sunkist and Pearly Glow. So here is Sunkist and here is Pearly Glow. So this definitely looks like it'll be a great um, highlighter for me. This one, I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't look um, deep enough to actually be like a bronzer. So I actually have a little bit of the um, Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer on, that cream bronzer. I have a little bit of that on. Um, so maybe this will just be like a highlighting fluid that I can use like over bronzer just to kind of make it a little bit more shimmery. Um, or maybe this is something I can add to um, very pale foundations to deepen up. I don't know, but I think this is gonna be a fun product to play around with. So we have these two um, liquid highlighters. And then I also got two of their new liquid eyeliners. I got the color um, Gris Argent. 524 and bronze doré. So I believe this is like a silver, this is like a bronze. Um, so we'll take a look at that in just a bit. And then I also got the new brow wax and brow powder duo in the color dark. So this comes with a little velvet pouch and the compact size is the same as like their eyeshadow quads. And oh wow, wow. It comes with, actually with a lot of tools. It comes with a little eyebrow brush, a little foam tip applicator, some very mini tweezers. I wonder how effective these are, but very, very handy. And then a teeny tiny spoolie. And then here is the dark color. I believe there's three colors available, so I got the darkest for obvious reasons. So we'll play around with all of these things. I'll leave the eye stuff to the end. I just wanna go ahead and try these like highlighters out. So like I mentioned, I do have a little bit of bronzer on, but that is it on, on top of foundation, but I don't have any powder down um, or anything else down. So let's play with this uh, Sunkist highlighting fluid first. And I got um, both of these colors because I really love the LeBlanc Rosy Light Drops. And this came out with the most recent collection, the one with the um, palettes that had like the flower shaped uh, pans and everything. So I really enjoy this. This is like a really beautiful liquid highlighter. Um, and I assumed that these were pretty much the same, just kind of in different tones. So the bottle's pretty much the same. And I'm just trying to see if the size is the same. Yep, they're both one fluid ounce. They're just called different things. This is rosy light drops um, and this is the highlighting fluid. So let's go ahead and start with the sun kissed. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this. Whoops. It has a nice pump dispenser at the top here. There is the consistency. You can see it's fairly thin on the thinner side. And then there's the product kind of spread out there. So that is actually a little bit deeper than I thought. I think the the most logical and kind of easiest application for this product is, you know, highlighter for a deeper skin tone, but I do want to see if there's any way I can use it on my light uh, skin tone. So I'm just going to use what I have on the back of my hand and I'm just going to take my finger and just kind of pat it where I have the bronzer down. I wonder if I just have too much cream product down right now. Oh, it does like deepen it up and warm it up a little bit. Definitely a sheen. This is really pretty. I really like the sheen to this. There are no glitter particles, nothing like that. It's just a very um, high shine, metallic kind of highlight. This is fairly neutral toned, which is also really nice. I was afraid it was gonna be a little bit too warm and end up looking kind of like orangey on my skin, but I think it actually looks really nice. It just kind of looks like highlighter. I think it added maybe a little bit of pigmentation to my bronzer, but really not much. So if you like a really shimmery cheek action area here, <laughs> I think this will be a nice addition. I'm just seeing if I can put it on my eyelids here because it is a really nice bronzy color. It's so interesting. I don't know if this product oxidizes, but can you see down here? This is like product that's been on my hand just a little bit longer compared to this fresh spot here. And it definitely seems like 
it gets a little bit warmer and it gets a little bit darker. Yeah, it looks pretty like cool toned in the bottle there, but definitely warms up a bit. Well, it's a really pretty natural sheer wash on the lids. You guys probably can't even see it on the camera, but it's really pretty if you're doing something subtle. All right, well, that's the highlighting fluid in Sunkiss. Let's go ahead and play around with the pearly glow one. I have a feeling this one is going to be a beaming highlight. Let me remove this from my hand. All right, and I took a brush out for this one. Um, this is the Smashbox Cream Cheek Brush that I really, really love for cream cheek products. So here is Pearly Glow, same packaging. Pump a bit out here so you can see the color looks like. Pearly Glow is an excellent name for this. It's like a warm, kind of like milky, creamy highlight color. Ooh, look at that metallic reflection. That's beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna grab this brush. I'm gonna dip it into the product back here and just kind of tap it on. Oh, wow. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's so pretty. So, so pretty. And the rosy lights is obviously a little bit pinker. So this is something I'd probably go for if I was doing more of like a cool tone look and very like pinky kind of blush. And this is definitely much more like neutral and I'd probably pair it with a more neutral like taupey or browns or you know, that kind of like eye look, like a natural kind of like smoky eye look. I feel like this would be a perfect match for that. I feel like this would also be great to add into a foundation to make it a little bit more shimmery. I really like it. If you have a similar skin tone to me, I, I mean, I think it's obvious, but you would probably go for this one if you're just looking for a liquid highlighter. And these all have a very subtle, like Chanel Le Beige smell. I feel like the Le Beige foundations have this uh, fragrance, uh, but it's much more subtle in these highlighting fluids, thankfully. Well, I can't wait for the rest of the Le Beige uh, collection to come out on the Chanel site. It looks like they're kind of like either repackaging or I don't really know what they're doing with their cream bronzer, that Soleil Tandé Chanel. Um, it looks like they're renaming it. It looks like they're discontinuing the old one. So I'm not exactly sure. And now it looks like they've given the shade like a number, which makes me think that they're gonna come out with different shades. I don't know but I have no idea. I haven't really heard definitively either way, but I am very excited for the rest of this Le Beige collection to come out. So let's go ahead and move on to the eye stuff. Uh, I'm really curious about this brow palette. So the only other brow palette I've ever used is the Dior Backstage one. It had that clear top. It actually had one wax in like two shades. And I really liked that brow palette, actually. I thought that was really, really fun. I'm just kind of lazy when it comes to my brows, so it's not something I reach for very often. Um, but when I saw this uh, release from Chanel, I was like definitely very, very intrigued. I am going to, I guess I'll attempt using that little itty bitty brush that's in here. Why not? Sometimes the brushes that are included are not so bad. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I should finish up my cheek makeup, right? Maybe add some powder. Um, I actually kind of don't mind looking a little bit glowy today. So I think I'm just gonna add some blush here. I'm gonna use um, the Rose Petalant pet, pet color, F number 330. This is the color that came out with this uh, LeBlanc collection. It's, it's so pretty. But I'm gonna go ahead and use my BK Beauty 107 brush and just pat some on here. Oh my God, I just love blush. I feel like it instantly makes me look so much younger. All right, now for brows. I remember when I used the Dior Backstage uh, palette that many of you said to put the wax down first and then to put the powder, like the powder needs something to kind of cling to. But every time I did that, I just felt like the powder looked chunky. And I know I could like kind of brush it through. I don't know, I just liked putting the powder down first and then using the wax. So maybe I'll do it differently for each eyebrow. Oh, this is gonna be interesting, right? So I'm gonna start with powder on this uh, right eyebrow. I'm gonna use this little brush, this little angled brush, and go into the powder product, which is the one on the right here. This one's the wax. And I'm just gonna pick it up just on the tips of this brush. Kind of making faux hair strokes here. Okay, I think the color is good. It's very neutral. So I'm gonna go in with the spoolie, this little guy, and I'm gonna pick up some of the wax and kind of brush that through. 
hold on, let me wipe some off. It's looking kind of chunky in there. The wax that was in the Dior Backstage palette was like a clear or like a very barely tinted wax. So I am not used to this. This one is obviously very tinted and I was not, I was not prepared for that. <laughs> that is a very strong brow for me. As you guys know, I like my brows. Well, I don't know if I like my brows, but I'm just used to my brows uh, lighter <laughs> than this. Interesting. I think because the wax is tinted, I may not even need the powder. Let me just go in straight with the wax for this brow and see what happens. I'm gonna do the same thing with the spoolie. Yeah, I think the wax alone adds like enough pigment there. I think with the powder and the wax, it's a little, it's a little severe. It's a little bit of a strong brow for me. Yeah, I kind of like the wax alone. Great color match for sure. This is, again, this is the dark. Yeah, 03 dark. All right, I have to say that was uh, more successful than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm not the biggest like brow person. So every time I try a different brow product, I'm like, this is gonna be a disaster, but I think this looks okay. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the liquid eyeliners. So again, I got two colors. Uh, the first one is Gris Argent. It's color number 524. And then I also got Bronze Doré. Okay, well the packaging is the exact same for them, so that's a little bit confusing, but the color names are at the bottom and they're color coded, which is great. Uh, how am I gonna do this? So I'll do, all right, let's start with the silver. Let's see what happens. I don't know, I don't hear any shaker ball or anything in here, so I don't know if you have to shake it up, but it is liquid liner. It is one of those like pen inkwell style liners. This is a brush tip. So there's the Gris Argent color. I think it's really pretty and there's plenty of product on here. It picked up plenty. I didn't have to like dip back into the inkwell at all. I like the brush. I feel like it applied it really nicely and I didn't have to go over it like too many times to get like a nice solid application. Like I don't feel like it's watery. You know how sometimes liquid eyeliners can look a little watery? This doesn't look watery at all. It's a nice solid like line. Okay, so that is the um, silver one and then let's try the bronze doré. There's the bronze doré color. I was hoping it was gonna be a little bit more metallic. It looks just kind of like satin. Silver one looks a little bit shinier. Can you see the difference? This one looks like a little bit more of like a satin finish and this one looks like a metallic. It's very pretty though. I just feel like you have to get up kind of close to see that it isn't just like a normal liquid eyeliner. You have to kind of get up close to see that it has like a bronziness to it. Well, I like the brush tip applicator for sure. I like the formula. I like how the color is very like solid. It's very opaque, but it's not like goopy or too thick looking in any way. Yeah, and those were really easy to apply and you guys know. I'm not good with liquid eyeliner. So that was uh, that was pretty good. And I do like the variety of colors that they offer. There's one, it looks kind of like a maroon red um, that I'm very tempted by and they have this like electric blue, which looks like fun also. So I may pick up more of these uh, depending on how these wear, but I'll leave a pinned comment as to how these wear for the rest of the day. It is, it's pretty late already. It's about two o'clock. So um, I'm probably gonna wear this for another six hours, but I'll let you know. So let me just finish up my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really like all of these products. I was definitely presently surprised by the brow uh, wax. I really thought that that like I said, could have been a big disaster, but I think that turned out really nicely. I really love the liquid highlighters. I'm kind of a sucker for liquid highlighters, so I'm not surprised that I love both of these. And the eyeliners I like so far, but like I said, I'll leave a pinned comment down below as to how they wear. So far, so good though. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.